it is finally starting to feel like spring where we live, which of course means that all the spring herbs are finally coming up. And today I want to introduce you to one beautiful little herb called chickweed. So chickweed is good for so many different things, including being full of nutrients to help cleanse and reset the body after the long winter. Chickweed grows in so many different places and it might be growing right in your own backyard without you even realizing it. So in today's video, I wanna take you out to my backyard and show you how to identify it. And then we'll come back in the kitchen and I will show you one of my favorite ways to use it as well as giving you a few tips of other ways to include it in your kitchen as well as in your medicinal cabinet. There are a few different commonly found varieties of chickweed and while none of them are considered harmful, there is one that's the best to use and that one's known as common chickweed. It tends to grow along the ground in long strands that can kind of clump together a bit to form what looks like a big mound of chickweed. The leaves are kind of shaped like teardrops and grow opposite of each other on the stalk. They are soft and full looking so that they appear almost slightly succulent like. The stalks have a single line of fine hairs that run up one side and then can spread to cover the buds and offshooting stems. The flowers are tiny, delicate, and white and have five small petals that are each deeply split in two making it look like it has 10 petals. One other way to check it is if you gently score around the stem and carefully pull it apart, it should contain a rubbery strand that gives you additional assurance that you have the right plant. Just to give you a comparison, here's an example of another commonly found variety of chickweed. This is mouse-eared chickweed, and as you can see, the leaves are a little bit smaller and longer shaped, and it's completely covered with fuzz, both of which tell you that this is not the variety of chickweed that you want to use. Just like with any other herb, when you're picking chickweed, you want to make sure to get it from an area that is not sprayed, is not commonly trampled or by a road, and of course that you have permission to pick it. Once I've identified my chickweed, I pick what I need for my product and take it into the kitchen. I then like to rinse it really well and lay it out to dry. Chickweed is full of so many nutrients, including protein, calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, and zinc. It has a bit of a light, refreshing taste, kind of like a strong lettuce, making it perfect to toss into a salad. Or if you prefer to hide the flavor or add more greens in for a kiddo who doesn't like their greens, you can simply add chickweed into a smoothie and blend it right in. You can also make a nutritional infusion using chickweed and create a delicious delicious multivitamin syrup for your kiddos or turn that into scrumptious vitamin infused gummy bears. Drying it for teas is another wonderful way to use it and makes it available all year round. All of these are great ways to use chickweed, but one of my favorite ways to use it is in a soothing skin salve. I also love to combine the chickweed with plantain, which is another commonly found spring herb that's incredible for skincare. Plantain made the best bum bum for my kiddos when they were in diapers. Chickweed and plantain together though make an amazing Saver balm that I love to have on hand all the time. All you need to make this salve is coconut oil, beeswax, honey, your chickweed and plantain, and some essential oils if desired. Place one and a quarter cups of coconut oil and about one cup total of chickweed or a combination of chickweed and plantain into the top of a double boiler. Or I use a stainless steel bowl suspended over a pan filled with an inch or two of water. You can also use dried herbs if you prefer, just reduce the amount of herbs to half a cup. Turn this on medium to get it to a strong simmer and then immediately turn the burner way down and allow it to really gently simmer for one hour. You might wanna check the water level partway through just to make sure it doesn't dissipate. Once the hour is up, carefully pour the oil through a strainer to separate the herbs. Discard the herbs and rinse out your double boiler bowl. Replenish the water in the bottom pan if necessary and place your bowl back on top of the pan. Pour your strained oil back in the bowl and add in two ounces of shredded or chopped beeswax. You can either buy beeswax in pastilles or I like to get mine in a big chunk from my local beekeeper. Having it shredded or chopped allows it to melt much more easily than just throwing in large chunks. I have found shredding it to be a little easier than chopping it up. Allow the beeswax to melt completely into the oil and then remove it from the heat. Allow it to cool just for a minute or two as you want it to cool slightly before adding in the honey and oils, but you do not want it to firm up yet. Mix in one tablespoon of raw honey and any essential oils you want. Pour the salve into your desired containers and allow it to firm up completely. I love to use this to have any time a skin irritation or wound arises, and the combination of ingredients can help to support the skin health, battle nasty bacteria, draw out toxins, and soothe itchy skin. Chickweed is a wonderful herb to have in the kitchen or in your natural remedy shelf, and is definitely a commonly found weed that is worth getting to know. 
Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy topics like these, then make sure you like and subscribe so that you can catch all the videos that we put up.